Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and this lesson will be on how to find the derivative of an inverse. The key concept is the derivative at a point equals the reciprocal of the derivative at the corresponding inverse point. Now I underlined the word reciprocal, and I want to be very clear that it's just a reciprocal, not the opposite reciprocal, like you might use if two lines were perpendicular. So it's not the opposite reciprocal. So let's take a look at example one. If f and g are inverses, and f of negative three equals five, and the derivative of f at negative three equals negative five halves, find the derivative of g at five. And you'll notice I've also provided for you the graphs of f and g. The graph of f I will highlight with this green right here, and the graph of g I'll highlight with purple over here. So reading the question again from the beginning, the first thing we need to note is that f and g have the relationship that they are inverses. And that's a really important thing to read. They are inverses. So there are certain properties that will exist because of that. The next thing that we read is that f of negative 3 equals 5. And this suggests that on the graph of f, there exists a point negative 3, 5. So I'll go over from the origin to negative 3 and up 5. This point is negative 3, 5. Now, the derivative at negative 3 is negative 5 halves. What this means is that if I drew in the tangent line, or the line tangent to the graph of f at negative 3, its slope would be negative 5 halves. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that tangent line in. So that tangent line that I just drew has a slope of negative 5 halves. So off to this side, I'm now going to make an organizational chart of all the things that I know and the things that I'm trying to find. So on the graph of f, I have this point, and the point is negative 3, 5. And the slope of the tangent line at that point, negative 3, is given to me as negative 5 halves. Now let's talk about the things that I know about g. Well, I know that f and g are inverses, and for that reason, if the point negative 3, 5 exists on f, then I know the point 5, negative 3 exists on g. When we find an inverse, what we're simply doing is interchanging x and y. So if we take our x and y coordinates and just swap them, we can get corresponding points on the inverse graph. And that's why I was able to figure this out. Now my objective is to figure out the slope of the line tangent to the graph of g at 5. So I'll start by just going ahead and drawing what I feel would be a a line tangent to the graph of g at 5. Now if we go back to our main concept, the derivative at a point equals the reciprocal of the derivative at the corresponding inverse point. So if this derivative was negative 5 halves, then the corresponding inverse point will have a derivative that is the reciprocal, which would be negative 2 fifths. So this is the answer to question number 1. Let's go on to a second example. So in problem number two, we're told that f of g of x equals x, and that f of three is equal to negative five, and that the derivative of f at three is equal to four thirds, and we're supposed to find the derivative of g at negative five. Now, the first thing that I need to mention is that this first part of the question, if f of g of x equals x, this is another way of stating that two functions are inverses, showing that their compositions equal x. So I'm going to do a similar setup to the one I did in example 1. Let's talk about the things I know about the graph of f, or the function f. On f, I have this point 3, negative 5. And that's indicated right here in the question. Now the next thing that I know is the derivative of f at 3. So at this particular point, the slope of the tangent line is 4 thirds. Now let's talk about the function g. Well, if two functions are inverses, all I have to merely do is swap the point on the one graph to get the corresponding inverse point on the second graph. So if 3, negative 5 exists on the graph of f, then the point negative 5, 3 exists on the graph of g. And my objective is to find g prime of 5, or g prime of negative 5, which would be the slope of the line tangent to the graph of g at negative 5. 
And that's going to be the reciprocal of the slope of the line that was tangent to the graph of f at the corresponding inverse point. And that slope was 4 thirds, so this answer is going to be 3 fourths. Now let's take a look at the note at the bottom of the page. You don't actually ever need to find the inverse to answer questions of this type. Let's go on to a third example. In question number three, we're told that f of negative six is equal to seven, and that the derivative of f at negative six is equal to root five over two. We're asked to find the derivative of the inverse at seven. Now the first thing that might be confusing is this notation in the actual question. Find the derivative of the inverse at seven. So this prime here means derivative. We've been working with that all year. And then this f to the negative 1 is really read as f inverse in this particular context. Okay, so let's create our little organizational chart just as we had done in samples 1 and 2. So on f we have a point, and that point is indicated to us here. And that point is negative 6, 7. Now we're also told that f prime of negative 6 is equal to root 5 over 2. Now let's see what we have with respect to the inverse. If the point negative 6, 7 exists on the original graph, then the point 7, negative 6 must exist on the inverse. And we're asked to find the derivative of the inverse. So here's the inverse. Here's the derivative of the inverse at the point 7 is going to be the reciprocal of this, which would be 2 over root 5. And we'll rationalize that, and we'll get 2 root 5 over 5. 